how to use DJ dropshipping complete tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at CJ dropshipping. So let's get into it. And I'm going to show you guys how to get started with CJ dropshipping. What are some of the benefits of using this platform and what are some of the things to look out for whenever you are starting your dropshipping business. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into CJ dropshipping, you need to know why you should be doing dropshipping. Well, dropshipping is super popular right now. And the reason for that is that it enables you to actually get profit without having to incur any warehousing costs. You can run an entire store based on products that you get from these dropshipping suppliers and you don't have to manage anything. All you have to do, all you have to do is create like a brand and with that brand, you can choose any kind of product of your choice with millions and millions of products available. So. CJ Dropshipping is another platform that enables you to start your dropshipping business. They provide multiple different packagings. They have so many different items for dropshipping. So you can choose any kind of store that you want to get started with, with their different items. And they provide multiple types of packaging, premium shipping, and so much more. Now, to get started with CJ Dropshipping, all you have to do is click on register on the top right over here. And once you click on register on the top right of your screen, you're just going to fill out this information. And once you have filled out the information, so once you have filled out the information, your account will be created. Now, once your account is created, you're just going to click on my CJ on the top over here on the top of your screen, and this will lead you to your actual associate store. So this is your dashboard from where you're actually going to be managing your business. And from here, what you can do is what you're going to do is you're going to click on store authorization, which is the first step of any business, and you're going to link your online store. So your e-commerce store to your CJ dropshipping platform so where you want to actually upload these products or what store that you want to use to upload these products are, is going to be linked over here so you have multiple different options you have shopify tiktok ebay woocommerce shipstation api etsy wix squarespace and so many more so we're going to click on wix over here and then you're going to click on add store over here and you're just going to choose any of the platforms that you have already created your store with. I do have an in-depth video on how you can create your Wix website. So you're just going to click on connect Wix over here. And in this way, you're just going to select the Wix website that you want to connect your CJ dropshipping store with or whatever platform that you're using, if you're using Shopify or any other platform. So we're just going to select this one over here. And once you have done that, you're just going to click on add to site, verify via the other e-commerce supplier or your e-commerce storefront that you're linking CJ Dropshipping. And once that has been linked, you can go on ahead and start getting your products from CJ Dropshipping. Now, you might be wondering, hey, why do I really need CJ Dropshipping? What if I want to get my products from somewhere else? Well, CJ Dropshipping has a lot of verified suppliers that have verification that you can actually trust on and rely on. You will know that some of these suppliers are going to get you your products on time. They're going to deliver the products to the customers. You're going to have a certain quality control over their products as well. So this is something that is going to enable you to actually have a good quality and you're going to be able to establish a brand or a business with products products that are actually useful and well monitored and well kept for your brand establishment. So let's say we're looking for purses. So you're just going to search for purses over here or you can even go on the left top left of your screen and you have multiple different categories. You can select any category that you want and you can go on ahead and choose what kind of item that you are looking for. So let's say we're looking for backpacks. So you can see over here there are multiple different listings over here and there are so many different options now there is one thing i do recommend before you go on ahead and add an item from cj dropshipping onto your e-commerce store and that is actually to vet your product so because CJ Dropshipping is a premium platform, sometimes their prices are a bit more expensive than what the normal price would be. So I would recommend that you cross search the product on a platform like AliExpress or Alibaba to just make sure that you're getting the best price for the item. Usually CJ Dropshipping has a lot of different amazing items that are available for a very low price. But just to be sure, just to be on the safe side, do cross check the product that you want. Now, once you have a product, you're just going to click on the product you're going to view it you're just going to open up and you're going to see there is a lot of detail provided about the product so you're going to have your material package size you have your merchant comments you have buyer's reviews as well 
And what you're going to do is you're going to go on ahead and click on add to queue. And what you can do is you can add some multiple different items to your queue and then browse them later on. So you can add a bunch of different items to your potential queue. And once you have your queue ready, so once you have a bunch of different items, you're just going to go into your queue on the top right of your store, CJ Dropshipping platform. And once you do that, this is going to go into your listed section. So now you can see there are multiple different items in the queue. And then I can go on ahead and browse them or find the details, compare them. And once I have decided on an item now before you decide on an item you can do a couple of different things first off make sure that you have the shipping speed in mind so you need to be able to understand that your customers are going to receive the product after some time and depending on where you're basing your business off of the time may vary so do make sure to check that before you go on ahead and purchase a product now after that, you can also choose which country, what time it's going to take for different countries. Let's say you have a business based in the Maldives. So if I select Maldives over here, then I can see the estimated delivery time. So you need to be able to provide a correct estimated delivery time for your customers to be able to have the best customer experience. So once you do that, once you have vetted the product and what you're going to do is you're going to click on list now in your actual CJ dropshipping platform. So this will open up and then you can see these are the different options of this product. Now, you can choose two different shipping options. You have your U.S. warehouse or the China warehouse. Depending on where your customers are, if you're establishing a U.S.-based business, then you can select the U.S. warehouse and then you're going to select the e-commerce store that you have linked to your CJ dropshipping platform. Then you're going to have your price change. So uh, you're going to go on ahead and this is going to be the total dropshipping cost for the product that you're selling and then you're going to enter the cost or the price that you want to sell it for on your store and this will actually go on ahead and give you a estimate of your overall profit so let's say i want to sell this for 15 dollars now you can see the bulk change has been applied and the price is $15 for all of these. And then on the bottom, you have ship my orders most to. So you're going to select the country that most of your orders are shipped to. And this will give you the estimated delivery time, shipping costs for that specific country. And then you can also choose shipping methods if there are other options available. And then you can just click on list it now. Or you can even click on edit before listing. And then you can customize the listings. Obviously, with a lot of these items, you have the titles to be very confusing and difficult so for that i would recommend that you enter a good title like leaflet bag or some interesting name for your product then add a, a good seo optimized tag add seo optimized descriptions as well instead of just having like a very mumbo jumbo kind of description where it's written in broken english just go on ahead add a more interesting and valuable description and keep all of the images keep the variants and then just customize the overall product description and titles and then you will be ready to go so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video